three teachers who have been so supportive, Mr. Maiello, Mr. Linfante, and especially Mr. Dwyer. Lastly, thank you to my friends, the Flash Boys, and all of the officers for always supporting my endeavors as class president, and to my family. Thank you for all the years of love and support. So, I thought a lot about what I would say today. I could have made some analogy between choosing our futures and choosing what to get at Chipotle. FYI, walk is always worth the extra 220. It was a struggle because, honestly, why should I be giving any advice? All I know is that we are leaving Nelly High School. I struggled because I wanted to say something that was helpful or meaningful that people would remember. And then I recalled something that I once heard. Endings are never easy. We build them up so much, but they can never meet our expectations. And we often end up disappointed. It's because we all want to believe what we do is very important. Truthfully, Consider yourself lucky if even occasionally you get to make someone, anyone, feel a little bit better. After that, it's all about the people that you've let into your life. Family, friends, classmates, teachers. And even though it feels warm and safe, it has to end. But let's take a trip back to the beginning. This day is so special because of the people that have been in our lives from the start. We started off as naive, tiny elementary school kids with young romances and best friends on the playground, ready to face the world in our Heelys and recorders in hand. Remembering the rules of foursquare, wall ball, and kickball was our biggest source of stress. Then we moved on to middle school as awkward, brace-faced, and gossipy students where everyone knew everything about everybody. Dress codes were challenged and axe body spray and Hollister perfume seep through the hallways. Finally, we made it to high school. There was more freedom. For many of us, we couldn't wait to grab lunch from one of Nelly's gazillion pizzerias. Despite our own fears of being thrown into lockers on freshman Friday, we made it through that first year. Then, we were sophomores, or wise fools. We knew the routine and thought we knew it all, but in reality, we were still low on the totem pole. By our junior year, reality sunk in. We faced the immense task of figuring out what seemed to be the rest of our lives. I think that I can speak for everyone by saying junior year was the most challenging, but the most rewarding. Then, in a flash, we were seniors. The year we had been dreaming of as freshmen was finally here. We had so many things to look forward to. Senior privilege, the courtyard, decathlon, and prom. Freshmen looked smaller and teachers became mentors. But maybe we were just becoming more nostalgic. Were we really going to miss this place? We wanted to believe that our time here meant something, that what we did here mattered. It is really only about the people that we met along the way that make it so important. Life has an interesting way of working out. After an infinitesimal amount of choices that started long before we were even born, we have all ended up here at this time, in this place, all to get a piece of paper that says, we did it. Is that what this was all about? Was it all for a diploma that will sit on a bookcase in our rooms? It just seems surreal that we are done, and now another chapter of our lives begins. I thought I was supposed to know everything by the time I left high school. Yet, here we are, at the end, with more questions than we started with. So, it's okay if you have questions or that you're scared. I'm pretty sure we all are. And after four years, it's not about the paper deadlines, it's about the people. That's what makes this experience worth having. That's what makes life worth living. We are more than a high school. We are a community. We are more than classmates. We are a family. And today, our graduation is the next great moment in our shared lives. We owe it to ourselves and to each other to make the most of what lies ahead. So, here I am, again, remembering that one saying I mentioned before. This ending sure isn't easy. So I guess all's left to say is, congratulations, class 2017. Let's go make one more memory.